Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Ralph and I am 3D Printing and Engraving. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Creality A1. Um, it's their brand new diode laser that just came out. It's a 10 watt laser. We'll go ahead and um, unbox it, show you how to set it up. Uh, we'll put it next to the Falcon 2 Pro over there. See the size difference, kind of compare, see them side by side would be great. If you're getting into um, laser engraving. Uh, if you can, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. It lets me know that you guys are liking the videos. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Thanks for watching. Dust brush, USB, extra cable, focusing block. Use your manual. Venting tube, power cords, air assist. But wait, there's more. Piece of wood, focus card for the camera, foam, foam, more foam, and not about more foam. If you can see inside here. It's got a square grid. It's got a railing system in there. Drawer to open. You know, there's really nothing to unpack on this thing or put together. Plug it in and go. Put 
Take a look at the side. On the side here, we have a rotary kit plug. We have the air intake, type C. We have the air pump power and power. Emergency on and off, start button. On the back side, you can see it has the vent tube. We'll go ahead and connect this. All right, let me get it powered up and we'll take a look. Um, just so you can see, Just so you can see, there is a quite a difference in the size. All right, everything powered up, plugged in. We'll go ahead and do first boot up. Emergency stop is off. And powered on. All right, just so you know, you need to have the key in to power this thing up the first time. I put the key on, turn it on. It's in the off position when you first get it. has two red lights here showing that the, there's no magnetic connection which I'm assuming this is just a big magnet and when it's closed the lights disappear I'm assuming for the same thing for the front no magnetic connections Camera on, camera off. We'll go ahead and head to the computer. We're going to hook it up to a PC, run Creality Design Space, and see what the next steps are. All right, once we're connected, shows how we're connected. Let's go ahead and load something up. All right, now that it's loaded, it shows that it's connected. Is it connected? I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll go ahead and go to the camera and we'll take a look and see if it's actually connected. Difference between this and the Falcon 2 Pro is that the Falcon 2 Pro uses two USB cables. This seems to use one USB cable for both.
come up here to the camera. It says connected. It doesn't say uncalibrated, so take a picture. So the first thing it says is the camera is not calibrated. The capture image has deviations and cannot be used directly. Please calibrate first. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and calibrate. We use the standard plate. And it's telling me to use the left side first. All right. It took the image. Let me move it to the middle and we'll continue on. After it has all the images, we'll hit next. All right, we'll go ahead and focus it so we can do this part. Um, I stuck a piece of cardboard in there. You'll see it here in a second. Just so you know, there's a nozzle at the bottom of this one. That is where you're going to be focus pointed from. So like the old Falcon, I wouldn't say the old Falcon, but the Falcon 2 Pros and the Falcon 2s. It was the bottom of the um, laser head. This one is the nozzle. We went ahead and frame it. If framed good, we'll go ahead and start. I did engrave. Let's go ahead and get image. We'll start here on number one. For number two. Number two is so much darker and brighter. Number three. And number four. Hit complete. Shows that it's calibrated, standard plate. Looks like you could do multiple different types depending on the range of the thickness. We'll leave it at that. Close it. So now if we come in here and we hit, we show it that it's calibrated. When we come in here, we show that it's connected and calibrated. Go to photo. And we can see the board now. So we'll give it a quick test. Well, um, we'll leave it at that. 
We will draw a square. We'll move that right to the tip of that circle. So it kind of outlines the two sides here. <clears throat> it kind of outlines the two sides here. We'll go ahead and give that a shot. Um, we use absolute chords. We're going to go to layers. Material. Let's see what we have for material. We got paper, acrylic. Let's see. Under paper, there is no cardboard. Other, we'll just leave it as paper. We'll do brown coloring paper, confirm. We are going to change the levels. We're going to up the power to 50%. Frame it. We'll go back to the camera. We're going to take a photo again. And we can see that it's just a tad off. And that's just probably because of my quick calibrations. But if you think about it, it is only. Two millimeters off, if that. We'll go ahead and recalibrate it here in a minute. But I mean, it's that simple to get started with this thing. I mean, quick and easy. If you take your time with the calibration, you'll get it dead on. And that's all it is to this. I mean, it's not that hard to configure it. Add the box, you open it, you put it on your desk. Put it on your workbench, put it on whatever. You plug in a USB cable, you turn on Creality Design Space, it sees it. It's that simple. Run the camera calibration, make sure the lighting's good, and you're set. You're off and running, you're going into it, you're starting to grave, you're starting to cut, whatever you want to do. It's quick and easy to set this thing up. Please remember to subscribe and like, and you'll, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.